So um, I will take a talk, <laughs> uh, hoping to take you to the northern part of China, Shanxi, which is the center of China. A um, lot of people know Xi'an, Shanxi, northwest, um, old capital city um, of China during Tang Dynasty. So that's that music, very also very typical Arabic music. And uh, again, like um, the piece is called Mihu Tomb, Tomb of Mihu. Mihu is the area, name of the area, and that's the tomb. But people mostly they're singing that's like a local opera. Um, so that tune played on the Arab, always company with the Arab. So uh, this is a very also example, very typical Arab music from the northern part of China. Mihu Tomb, Mihu Diao.
what I'm ready for next week is that we're probably going to tell you uh, what's the material on the R4. <laughs> Arco is made of uh, red sandal wood and with uh, snake skin. Yeah. And then it better organic. <laughs> it sounds better. So I'm very sorry for <laughs>
This piece, actually, during the Tang Dynasty, Tang Court music, um, they played on the pipa, and uh, and then was introduced to Japan during the Tang Dynasty. And uh, so the original manuscript is kept in Japan. Um, and I worked with a music scholar, Rembrandt. Um, he teaches at Arkansas University. Um, his specialty is early pipa music. Um, he's a German. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine he studied pipa. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, and uh, we worked together for a long time, so I made a CD because he's been researching for many years all those those maps. He translated those become uh, like notation, and uh, and uh, so I kind of tried to in interpret the to try to play uh, on the pipa to follow his instructor instruction like how I would do the bridle, how I would do the decoration notes. So it's very, very straight because nobody knows the old days, year 800 something, how people play that instrument. Um, of course, only this position, there's nothing bottom right here. It's a very short tone, just give you the idea of what maybe old pipa music sound like. This is from the Tang Dynasty. Thank you. 
in the in the core of you know in the palace. That's the music. They very much like dance piece, but slow. Uh, that's what I imagine. Um, and I'm gonna now I'm gonna play back go back to uh, uh, the Qing Dynasty and would play often play this piece Yang Shun Bai Xi and again very typical pentatonic uh, scale and uh, the pipa music uh, white snow in spring um, and again it's a very typical pipa piece. Thank you. 
your turn. <laughs> It's a bird singing in the empty mountain. Kong Shan Yang. Always have beautiful titles in Chinese music. It's very poetic. Um, it's also a very unique piece. For, but the only one I would is imitate a lot of a lot of technique on the on the on a different way. Um, so and I always hear there when we in the conservatory. I always hear they practice this piece. <laughs> I'm like headache, <laughs> <laughs> but it's been a long time I, I really miss this piece, so here it is Kong Shan Yang. <clears throat>
So now we come to the uh, last piece. Um, again, it's a uh, popular urban piece. Sad. Oh. <laughs> Chorus, <laughs> um, chorus, please. Chorus, chorus. Um, it's again from Mongolia, actually, uh, composed by Huang Hai. Huang Hai Huang. Um, and become a, I think he took, the composer took the traditional material from Mongolian songs, Mongolian traditional music, and then um, to arrange it for Arabu solo, and it become a deep Arabu piece. And you know, you all know, uh, we say sad, everybody, whoa. Um, so, and again, uh, usually they play with the young chief, the dulcimer, Arabu dulcimer. That's the kind of a combination to support the uh, solo part. And uh, today, I'm, I'm the supporter. <laughs> uh, so let's see what happens. Homer <laughs> said, this, this is a unique moment. <laughs> so thank you again. And afterwards, we're going to take a few minutes. Uh, Joe going to come over here and do a little uh, Q&A session, so if you have a question. Thank you very much.
对，也太难了。<笑>
Very impressive. So you see this guy, he speaks more Mandarin than I do.